Hello and welcome to the BMOON Youth Night, your daily check on Bonn International Model United Nations. Buenos dias, bonjour, welcome. I'm Alexandra Ovchinikova and today's news are The 11th session of the BMOON Sinup has opened today at the Waterworks, the elegant building of the neo-Gothic style in a quiet part of Bonn. Today, more than 150 young people from more than 50 countries have gathered to discuss the importance of human rights, commitment and responsibilities. What has brought them to Bonn? Uh, I think the Bonn, Bonn International Model the United Nations is one of the best MUN in Europe. I think Bonn is a beautiful city and it has um, so many things to explore actually, so I just love Bonn. I'm here in Bonn because I'm really excited about this program. It's my first moon, so I think that this is going to be great and I will tell you in a week how it was going. The UN representatives, politicians and social activists were present at the ceremony hall today. Angelica Kappel, deputy mayor of the city of Bonn, underlined the importance of the event for Bonn, the German UN city. Karin Nordmeyer, president of the UN National Committee in Germany, made an interesting observation to the gender equality. What does it mean to enjoy human rights? What is it all about with dignity? So there are different perspectives around the world on those two notions. Yaya Bashwa, member of the Human Rights Commission of Pakistan and the Swiss delegate of European Greens, uh, was a special guest of the opening ceremony. So we have different cultures and still we should look for the common things we have together and that would be to fight together for the human rights for everyone. I really put my trust in young people that uh, they will continue the work we have started. And now let's turn to the news from the Security Council. Our correspondent Johannes Brose reports. Today the United Nations Security Council was in session to address issues concerning the current situation on the Korean Peninsula. Recent remarks by North Korean leader Kim Jong-un and mixed reports on potential political opening were met with appreciation on behalf of the delegates. At the same time, sources are worried that high military officials within North Korea are plotting to overthrow the DPRK leadership. Delegates from the present members voiced deep concerns over possible proliferation of nuclear weapons and material. They mutually agreed that it would be necessary to locate and secure those perceived threats, but did not come to a decision on military intervention yet. Global interests are expected to conflict as we continue to cover the Council sessions in the next days. Thank you, Johannes. As you all know, we have a quiz. And the today's question is, how much gram of CO2 is emitted by the production of one 200 gram beef steak? I don't know, <laughs> sorry. This question is so obvious. If you really don't know it as a journalist, please change your job. Thank you very much. At least a, between 100 and 1,000 pounds of CO2, or kilograms of CO2. I know it's a lot. A lot. <laughs> and the answer is 2,260 grams. This was the first edition of the BMO News Night. We close with the thought of the day. Thank you for your attention and join us tomorrow. Something that was really surprising today was feeling inspired in the, during the open, opening ceremony. It was amazing how you get inside the crisis and you have to work on it, standing in other ambassadors' shoes and trying to resolve the real problems. So the most amazing uh, event of today was just that we have reached nearly an agreement already. Also my Tag with so vielen international young Menschen to begin and auch to end, that is for me very schön. I now completely changed my mind about opinions. For example, I'm representing uh, Russia and for the first time in my life I've seen how sometimes arrogant the US and the European Union act in front of you know, the United Nations.